Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa Bay Designs and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. I'm so excited to be able to show you this rust patina using DIY paint and the new DIY paint making powders as well as some waxes and a rust mica powder. This is super fun. I see so many tutorials and a lot of them are using chemicals and I really prefer not to use chemicals because I am a furniture artist that works from home and I don't want to have chemicals in my home. I have dogs. All of us are here. Um, my daughter, has, we have allergies. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to do the chemical thing so I'm trying to do a chemical free just with paint and it turned out super great I did a couple of different trials and I'm going to show you um, some candlesticks and this is what it looks like before and I'm going to show you the after here in a second all of the information and all of the products that I use will be found in the description box of this video all right let's go this is just a thrifted item I, I think we got this at a yard sale this past weekend. They were a dollar each. And what we're going to do first is roll up my sleeves because it's hot out here in Kentucky. I'm going to take DIY Paint Liquid, I mean, um, DIY Paint Little Black Dress. And I'm going to give the entire candlestick a coat of Little Black Dress. Now what I love about Little Black Dress is that it's highly pigmented and it's thick and usually you can get one coat coverage. I like to paint candlesticks or legs, um, spindles upside down and this way you can make sure that you get all of the plates. In this particular piece, it doesn't matter if we get everything because there's going to be so many layers. Next. We're going to take um, DIY Paints Copper Patina. It's called Pennies from Heaven and I just poured it out here and I'm going to take a brush and we're going to go ahead and apply the patina over everything. My brush is very wet so it's just kind of liquidy. Now the liquid patina has a little bit of a top coat so it's actually going to seal in the black paint I made a new color using DIY paints making powder and crinoline and I had some left over and I wanted to utilize it so I take that color along with mermaid tail and old 57 and I just dab it on in sections no rhyme or reason I move my artist brush in different sections so that I can create a random pattern and I just layer on all of the colors over the copper patina Now it's time to make my chemical free rust. I'm using DIY paint colors in Summer Crush and Carnival Red, Layer Chocolate, Fire Starter, and I'm just dabbing it on in the sections only where I want the rust. And I just take one color at a time and just add it until I like the combination. Because everything doesn't rust the same and it doesn't rust all over um, unless it does but in, th in this case in my world it wasn't rusting all over so I just had fun layering these colors and as you can see it really is starting to look like rust I wanted to add some more dimension and just some interest so I took DIY paints making powder in pa plant lady that's the green color and I added some water on just this acrylic IOD Thin mount that I had on the side and I just start layering it in different sections. I think I would have achieved a great look without the making powders but I really feel like the making powders took it over the top. I went ahead and I sealed my piece with DIY Paint Big Top 
you don't have to do this. I don't typically do this before my the next step, but I went ahead and I sealed it so that this way everything that I had would stay intact and it would give me a uh, wiggle room to be able to wipe back anything that I don't like. Then I took Orange You Glad. It's a making powder by DIY Paint and I mixed it with water. It's a very bright orange and I just dabbed it on with a liner brush in certain sections. If you ever look at rust, some parts are really, really orange and they stand out a little bit more than the rest of it does and there's so many colors in rust. And so I just wanted to add a different dimension by using that pigment powder. I can't remember which color but I did go back and add some DIY paint and just continue to blend that in a little bit more. Then I took a watered down mint chip and I applied it all over my piece. I think that this really helps to give it like a, a different dimension. And then I wiped it back with a baby wipe and it gives it like a film. I, I don't know how to describe it but it was just the thing that it needed. It was too bright, and so this kind of dulled it down a bit, made it um, really, really cool. And now it really does look aged. And then I had Apothecary and Vintage Linen water down as well, just again, just to give it a different dimension, a different coloring, and I did the same thing, and I interchanged those two washes onto the piece, and then I wiped back and reveal some of the intense color underneath. So because I sealed everything that I did, I couldn't distress back to my copper. So I just went ahead and I added more copper and I blended it in with the rag that I had, the wipe, and it just gave it some sheen and shimmer like if it was coming through the paint. Then I applied a coat of DIY Paints Clear Wax to seal everything in. And I only had a little bit in my jar. I keep those jars just for small projects and I'm just using a chip brush. There's plenty of wax in that jar for small projects. And so you never wanna throw away paint or wax. <laughs> and look at it come to life as I apply the clear wax. I love it. I took a little bit of DIY Paints Verdigris Wax. It's a teal wax that was created to use with the Pennies from Heaven for a Verdigris look. And it just brought back a little bit of the teal and then I wipe it back. Just again, more dimension. I think this next product is another one that put it over the top. It is a mica powder and it is called Rust. It really looks bronzy and I love the way that it added dimension and a little bit of sheen. I just took a stencil brush and I worked it into my brush and because I had applied wax, it gives it something to adhere to and I just rubbed it in just to some sections. Y'all, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my gosh, I can't love this anymore. It's so, so cool. I took DIY Paints Making Powder in Plant Lady and Pool Party. Pool Party is my absolute favorite powder color. Oh my gosh, so good. But I wanted to add more of that um, vibrant green color and I just put it in some sections and then I did the same thing with Pool Party and watch, watch how it just comes to life and it just changes everything. It really takes it up several notches. These making powders are so amazing. You can mix them with water. You saw me do that with the orange, you glad, and the plant lady. Um, 
and also you can mix them with a wax to make a colored wax. You can mix them to make your own paint and that's what I started off with at the top of the video, a made of color that I created. There's so many things that you can do. These making powders are awesome. I even have a video coming up next week for Milk Paint Monday where I've created my own milk paint using Sweet Pickens base pigment, no pigment, and the making powders. Here, I'm just even rubbing it with my finger, rubbing it in there, and then you just buff it back with your lint-free cloth. I'm using a shop towel so that you could get the desired look. After I was completely done, I took a liner brush and I took my copper patina, pennies from heaven, and I just filled into the grooves and certain areas just a little bit more of the copper. And I really love the way that it turned out and I rubbed it in with my fingers just to make it not so prominent and then in other areas it was more prominent and it just looks so great I love it the products can be found on my website they're in the description below I hope that you enjoyed this I hope it inspired you to try a rust patina I love the way that this turned out. I'd never really done an entire piece full of rust. It was so much fun. As you can see, here is the finished look. Look at it right next to my copper bowl. It really looks amazing. You can see all of the colors, the teals and the greens and the copper and the rust. And look at it. It looks so good. It really does look like real rust, doesn't it? I grew up in New York. It reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. I just love it. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try this. And if you do, I would love to see a picture. You can send me a picture on Facebook. You can find me in all social media accounts under Lisa Boone Designs. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I have lots of thrift hauls, paint tutorials, and you never know what we might come up with. But I would love it if you would subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you could receive a notification when I upload my next video. Also, I would appreciate it if you would like this video and comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you've ever tried patina, um, what your questions are, or even just comments about the process and the products that I use. If you want, DIY paint products, you can go to my website, lisaboondesigns.com. I love you. You baby. Baby. Bill, <laughs> <laughs>